May 1st, day one, squat every day May. For the month of May, I will be barbell squatting every single day. And today I'm actually gonna be testing my one rep max. I haven't seriously barbell squatted in a while, so I'm gonna test my one rep max today. And then at the end of the month, even if I can get it up by five pounds, I will be super happy. Let's get it. All right, time to go for 265. 255 felt a little bit shaky, but I looked at the video after and it went up pretty fast and it looked pretty good. So I'm gonna go for 265. And then right now I also weigh about 133 pounds, but just in case I do need to bail, I put some cardboard in case I need to bail. I don't plan on bailing, I plan on grinding it out. 265, let's go. Boom, there you have it, 265 for my one rep max at 133 pounds, I'm happy with that. I don't wanna go for 275, I think 275 is a little bit of a reach for me right now and I don't have a spot. So all good, I will settle for 265. Currently headed out to the lake right now to do my timed mile, I'm so excited. Honestly, I'm just aiming for below 630, that would be nice, but we'll see. I haven't done a time mile since high school. In high school, my freshman year, I ran a 530, which was 11, 12 years ago. So I'm super excited to do this time to mile right now. And shout out to Goku Runner for inspiring me and for challenging me to do this challenge. If you haven't followed Goku Runner yet, make sure to follow him. I'm gonna provide his channel right here and then also a link in my description below. He is actually one of the running YouTubes that inspired me to pick up my channel, to post more. Just seeing him do it weekly and frequently made me want to commit more to YouTube. So shout out to you, Goku Runner. Let's get it going. I'm also gonna be using my Fitbit to track instead of my phone slash Strava. Strava has been glitching on me the past two or three weeks. So I don't wanna take the chance to the Fitbit, we go. I was gonna bring my GoPro, but I don't wanna hold it in my hand. I tried the head strap, but it's super uncomfortable. And I don't have a chesty. I tried to attach it onto here, but it like, it's flimsy and it bounces, so oh well. I'm just gonna be shooting behind the camera and then I'll let you all see the time right after. Oh, stupid. So, on my regular run, his small loop, I swear, he's been doing it every day, is 0.96 or 97 miles. And then when I came back around here, I was at like, uh, like 559, like six something, or like over there. And then it said I was 0.7. Oh, there's no way. I had to get on a real track to do it. It says I ran. Let me show you guys. It says I ran 813. There's no way I only ran 813 because. Cause I've done like on the 10 mile runs, there was a few days when I was running like 8.45 for three minutes. Or there were a couple of times where I went like 8.15, 8.14 for a mile. 
and it wasn't this hard. I'm so bummed. Oh. I knew I knew something was wrong because from here to where the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Because usually from here to the cross street after the dog park after the basketball courts, it's point it's point three three miles, and when I got there, it said it was like. Point one, point one something. I'm gonna throw up. I know, it looks like you are. You're stressing me out. I haven't run that hard since high school. So as you can tell, that mile was an absolute fail because with all due respect Fitbit, I think you're wrong because I've been running that loop super often. I've tracked it many, many times and each time I've tracked it, it was usually 0.96 or 0.97 miles. But when I did that full loop, that small loop today, it said it was 0.7 at about 5.59 and then it ran over into the six minutes. But I kept running until it was 1.00 miles and it said I ran 8.13. And I just don't think that's correct or maybe I'm just not as fast as I think I am. But when I was running before, before today and all the other days, I would be uh, checking my splits and during the 10 during the 10 mile runs and when Strava was working there'd be days where I would be running 845 when I would be picking up the pace 845 for about three or four miles and today I was going hard and it unfortunately didn't track correctly in my opinion I don't know maybe as I said I'm not as fast as I think I am but I I felt that was a good seven minute pace or like 630 because I've also ran a below seven minutes during my runs not during the 10 mile runs but before when Strava was working and when it wasn't glitching I was I've done a like 650 something pace uh, for one mile so who knows I have to find a track or if Strava is working then I'll time it there but Super bummed, but I guess for now, 8.13 is my fastest mile. Oh well, it happened. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you to everyone for following my journey. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helped me out. Other than that, see you soon.